And so what prompted this move, Simone? What's the impetus behind this shakeup? Well, the message very much seems to be you have to get with the rate cut program or get out of the government. Um, there was not very much detail in the official Gazette report announcing the replacement, um, but this follows in October uh, members of the Monetary Policy in, uh, Committee in Turkey being replaced. Uh, particularly ones that were thought to have disagreed uh, with President Erdogan's plans for further rate cuts. Now, the replacement seen as much more amenable to rate cuts. Um, remember that President Erdogan has this very unorthodox monetary policy view. He believes that high interest rates breed inflation uh, rather than dull it. Uh, and he wants to spur economic growth, um, even to the point of overheating, perhaps, with credit loose. Uh, unemployment high. Uh, some of these policies seem to be looking ahead with an eye to uh, elections in June 2023, or they have to happen by then. Um, but at the same time, you get really high inflation, 20 percent inflation just about, uh, and folks who have lost a dramatic amount of purchasing power in just a matter of weeks. Yeah, it's been crazy. Uh, given that, that there's no question, it seems now, Simone, that rate cuts are going to continue. Uh, what does this mean for, for what analysts are saying now? What are still some question marks that they have? Um, well, they're looking a lot at the central bank intervention that we saw this week, uh, about a billion dollars worth of foreign currency buying for the first time since 2014. We did see some different kinds of intervention back in 2018. Um, and, and this has the potential to influence the lira sort of on a short-term basis. We did see a market move after that. Um, but for the most part, analysts don't believe that the central bank has the kind of foreign reserves uh, to really uh, put a floor under the lira uh, for, uh, for the long term. Um, but again, the election story becoming increasingly important, and that's what I'm hearing from analysts, um, because these elections have to be held by June 2023. They could be held earlier. The expectation is that as long as Erdogan remains unpopular, he's going to push this off uh, as long as possible. Um, but the opposition very much uniting around the economy, putting pressure uh, on the rate cuts, in fact. Uh, and there is a potential for even Erdogan's party to fracture if the economic situation uh, gets bad enough.